All right, now we are here with Gail and Jeremy. They are the co-founders of Gable Music Ventures. They're gonna to talk to us about the Ladybug Festival. Hi folks, how are you? Fine, Good how morning. are you? Good morning. I'm very well. Good morning, yes. <laughs> so listen, you guys are here to talk to us about the Ladybug Festival. It's something that's been going on for a few years now, right? Yes, yeah. for 10? 10 years now. 10 years. 10 years. Oh, that's so awesome. Yes, yeah. and we're really excited that we have a variation of the festival this year. It's not the festival in the traditional way sure. because we could not close the streets down and yeah. do all that. So we're having um, uh, 11 different venues up and down Market Street oh, nice. on the 31st of August. So okay. We're very excited about it and our continuing efforts to elevate women in music. I love it. So a uh, question, what are some of the venues that are going to be used? Jeremy, how about you? Yeah, well, the, so the headliner performances are going to be playing at the, in the Crown at the Queen from nice. 8 to 10. Okay. Um, from 5 to 8, uh, we've got five different locations on Loma, which is Ooh. traditionally where the event has always happened. Mm -hmm. So um, formerly uh, Zyka, which is now going to be um, launching as Amity Bistro, okay. is one of the venues. It's a um, new restaurant. <clears throat> oh, Academy, we'll check that out. Academy for Peace. Um, both Artscape locations, Artscape nice. 1 and the newly uh, uh, done Artscape 2. Okay. And Studio on Studio Market. Market. Thank you, Gail. Studio on Market. Um, right. and so that's Loma. And then we have um, street performances happening on the 400 block, kind of oh, connecting performance. So there will be just musicians right out there on the street. Okay. Uh, moving up the block, we're using the Christina Cultural Arts Center. Nice. Um, which is a beautiful little space. The downstairs level. Okay. Yep. Mm -hmm. Alrighty. Yeah. And who are some of the performers that we have oh. this year? Just to, to name a few. Well, our headliner is Soraya, and they're, nice. they're, they're just amazing. So we're yeah. very excited about that. Uh, we have so many different performers. Uh, well, the, the, the most popular one around here these days is, is um, Danielle, um, I, known as Shug. Shug Dan. <laughs> Shug Daniel. Shug Daniel. Uh, she works for us, but she is also performing for us that night as well. Yeah. Very nice. Uh, we have, we bring, we've brought in people from kind of all over uh, the, the Philadelphia. There's mm -hmm. a couple of people, I think, coming in from New York. I'm not, I don't really remember Possibly. exactly. Uh, <laughs> it's hard uh, to keep it all in track. We have like uh, a lot of local people as yeah. well. Rachel Shane yeah. for one. All right. Uh, she's been a you yeah. know a big piece of the Ladybug. Mm -hmm. And then we've got Baltimore in the house because Wicked Sycamore is coming up from Baltimore. Right. Nice. Right? Okay. Uh, so yeah. let me ask you this: How did you two get into the Ladybug Festival? Where did you come up with the premise for it? Mm -hmm. well, tell me. I'm yeah. curious. That's yeah. a story. Yeah. I bet um, Gail's got it perfected in the 30s. <laughs> <laughs> I've yeah. got yes. Yeah, so very condensed view of that. <laughs> so in 2012, when Firefly was announced mm. here in Delaware, everybody was so excited about yes. it. Uh, but one of the things that came out of that was that people were saying, oh, there's no locals playing mm -hmm. on Firefly lineup. And, you know, and we, everybody was really kind of upset about that. Simultaneously, <laughs> simultaneously, um, the owners of the second Loma Street, uh, uh, Debbie Schwartz and Mike Schwartz, we're hoping to have some kind of a block party to say thank you to the people who had moved in down there. Remember, this mm -hmm. is a while ago now. This yeah. is 10 years. There was nobody down there. And so we had started bringing music there. So they said, okay, we're going to give you a little bit of money to throw a block party. Mm -hmm. And we said, great. And we started thinking like, oh, let's get... Let's just like play off of that firefly idea. I love it. Yeah. And so we started thinking of bugs and you know, what could we do? And then firefly, we, and we said, ladybug. Oh, mm -hmm. let's do let's do how about ladybug? And I said, let's make it about women. I love it. And mm -hmm. we realized in doing that that women continue to be so underrepresented in the mm -hmm. festival market. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you look at festivals, most most don't even have um, 25% female headliners or on, wow. on the lineup at all. Now, there's there's festivals that are doing a, a much yeah. better job at that, like Firefly this year mm -hmm. and Philly Folk Fest, mm -hmm. or yeah. name a couple, have you know gotten up to, I think they're almost up to 50% now. Yeah, Philly nice. Folk Fest has Which, been doing 50% yeah. for, for a while. Long time. Yeah. For a long time. Yeah. So, you know, we decided this was something that, well, while we kind of thought of, we started it as kind of like a funny kind of thing, mm -hmm. we realized that we, we stumbled on something. You definitely did. And we didn't know it was a stay bug. And we didn't know <laughs> yeah, Ladybugs was, found, was a stay bug. We found Wait, out. Wait, Ladybugs are is stay, stay, stay bug Delaware. Delaware. Yeah. yeah, who knew? Yeah, so we, we like yeah. announced oh, wow. the entire yeah. event. Yeah. And then one of the artists was like, I love that it's the stay yeah. bug. We were yeah. like, look at that. Yeah. Huh. So, we, yeah. so, you know, we, we continue this mission. Um, 
to give women an opportunity mm -hmm. to be the headliners to perform. We even hire mostly women to run the stages yeah. and the yeah. sound, nice. sound engineers. I love sound that, engineers. that yep. representation. That's yep. awesome. So it's all about women, and we mm -hmm. continue to grow this festival. Though you know, we're sad that we couldn't bring it back in its traditional form this year. Yeah, uh, it is still free to attend thanks to okay. our sponsors. You know, yeah. like Chase has just been amazing yeah. in supporting the arts. Oh, yeah. um, Downtown Vision, Downtown Vision, Shoprite. I mean, they're nice. awesome yes. community partners for yeah, us to make nice. it possible. So yeah. let me ask you this: with understanding that COVID has definitely <laughs> plagued yes. the performing arts realm in such a major way, to yeah. where we have had a lot of artists who have been without work. I love that you guys are bringing this back to help spotlight and support. Uh, what kind of COVID precautions are you taking? That's a great year. question. It's a very good question. Thank so, you for asking that too. No worries. I think everyone needs to know. I know yeah. I want to go and yep. partake. So well, yeah. and like, it's COVID precautions. I don't want anyone being, uh, yes, you know, 100%. empty about not mm -hmm. coming out. Yeah, and it's COVID precautions is the reason that we're not shutting down the street in the Got first you. place. So we're scaling back because we've had seven to ten thousand people that have mm -hmm. attended the event in the past, and kind of pinning everybody in mm -hmm. to that city block just seemed seemed like a, not a good idea okay. so we wanted to spread it out you know by doing that we're you know there's there's like i said with 11 different locations for music happening mm -hmm. yeah, it's going to spread true. everybody out a little bit it's going to lower the attendance mm -hmm. kind of all around and then we are asking having signage and asking everybody to wear masks while they're nice. indoors making sure all the venues have full hand sanitizer mm -hmm. you know doing what we can it's difficult because there's not a state mandate in place right now. Right. And we don't have a point of entrance for our event to kind of like Filter check vaccinations, yeah. things like that. So we're definitely doing the best we can. But yeah, the main reason that we're not mm -hmm. shutting the block in and doing the big block party is you. to well, keep you know, people you guys safe. are being responsible about yeah. it. So that's great. Yep. Yep. Now, what else can we expect from Gable? Because you guys have lots going on. You have your thumb on the community of the arts. Like I absolutely love it. What do you guys have next? Yeah. Well, well, we have had a really, first I want to kind of recap a little bit. We, we've had a great summer, um, awesome. did a lot of outdoor music. Uh, we, we've done a lot of events, which will continue into September, into October, into I think. October. Mm -hmm. um, um, the uh, Get Out Around Town events, the GOAT events, you see that branding on different okay. things. Mm -hmm. So we'll continue to bring live music in different parts of the city. Very nice. Uh, there's st still farmer's markets that are going on where we have music going on with that as well. We've got some um, we've got some big plans for next year. Well, all right. And uh, we're hoping that we're going to have some larger events coming into the city. So right. we're excited about that. Well, maybe you'll yeah. give us a uh, visit back when yes. uh, we hit the top of the year so you can let us know some things that you have going on. Yeah. I really appreciate your time today. Thank you so Thank much. You. Everyone, don't forget to check out the Ladybug Festival. It'll be right downtown on Market Street Mall.